Access and benefit sharing principles are fundamental to the ethical sourcing of biodiversity. But is it enough to secure prior informed consent from countries and communities and agree to share benefits with them? Claims of biopiracy do focus on the lack of appropriate steps to access biodiversity and to share the resulting benefits. Measures commonly referred to as ABS and required by the Convention on Biological Diversity. Take the classic case of the rosy periwinkle. Research conducted on this plant led to the development of lucrative drugs, with apparently no payment ever made to Madagascar, where the rosy periwinkle comes from. In the case of Hudia, it was years after research tapped into its appetite suppressed qualities that a benefit sharing agreement was signed with the Sun people, and only after intense international and media attention. But there are also other, broader concerns and claims of biopiracy that do not refer to ABS. These are particularly focused on patents. Are patents inconsistent with the Convention on Biological Diversity? Some critics question private rights over biodiversity and related knowledge altogether. This is particularly true in relation to genes, as well as to patents on seeds and conventional breeding methods. But many criticisms are not about patents themselves, but about the way they are used. Some patents linked to biodiversity are not true inventions, for example. The patent on neem, an Indian tree, was revoked when it was pointed out that the claimed uses of neem had been known in India for over 2,000 years. Other patents have overreaching claims. A patent application for the extract of the Bambara groundnut, for example, covers products for the face and body, and also day or night products, and also solar, anti-wrinkle, hygienic or thinning products, and also lotions or shampoos, creams, mousses, etc., etc. At the same time, patents are increasingly used by the cosmetic sector to protect innovation and investment, and can thus be potentially useful in expanding the benefits to be shared. This means it's important for companies to adopt patenting policies and practices that are consistent with the principles of the Convention on Biological Diversity. Access and benefit sharing is essential for companies working with biodiversity. But ABS will only be adequate if it is not a parallel or complementary policy, but an approach that is mainstreamed in all relevant company practices.